So, okay, let's talk about Jade Ethnic Orchestra and its pad section. Uh, Jade Ethnic Orchestra by Strazov has many sections, uh, different instruments, uh, orchestra and uh, choirs and whatnot. But part of this library is the pads. And in the pads, we have three sections, synth, uh, percussion, and FX. And why this is so worthwhile taking a look at, because this gentleman here, and I'm not going to try to pronounce this, uh, Lubomir Goshev, possibly. But this fellow here is a great sound des designer. He's known for it in games and different things. And so they've they've used his expertise to uh, design all the instruments and choir in the Jade Ethnic to come up with great sound design using the, all those tools. And there's tons of stuff in here, different libraries and different presets of ideas. So, and you can tweak it to how you like it. So, uh, one of the reasons why it's so great is if you listen to one, I'll hold down one key here. And you'll see that there's no real, the looping isn't evident. It's not, it doesn't just call out to you and say, oh yeah, I can hear that loop. It's designed really well in the fact that it just evolves with new texture upon new interesting texture upon new interesting idea. And that's on all these keys over every preset. So it, it just evolves and evolves in beautiful ways. All kinds of great ideas. And you can just start off with something simple, like maybe just the synth part of it, and build it up. Then add some effects in there. And of course, you can automate all this. And then you can add in some percussion. So we have all these pads designed really well as kind of a foundation to what we may want to put on top of this. So what I consider to be one of perhaps one of the best pad design little uh, interfaces here. Really, I mean, you can pull so much out of this uh, little idea package here. So why not use that with something like the orchestra or other VSTs and see how they will uh, kind of mesh together and give us a bunch of great musical ideas. So let's just get something going here, just <laughs> random. So I'm holding down one key with the Jade Ethnic pads here. Traveler's preset. Could be anything, I'm just starting from whatever. And now, say we got the first preset from the orchestra. Again, it's just, I'm just experimenting live here. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Let's uh, bring in the orchestra. And the textures just start to reveal themselves. This is incredible because I, I never even practice this. This is just live right out of the uh, right out of the box. Now we can turn up the orchestra and get even more dramatic. That's a pretty good start and just getting some ideas going. The texture's just unreal. So let's take a chord now with the, uh, let's start, we'll turn off the orchestra and just go back to the pads. And now let's use some chords and see what happens there.
All right, that's pretty good for our first Luna attempt. Let's um, let's go to a different one here. The pads. Let's just solo the pads. Get a different idea going. Let's see where this will take us. Interesting. Turn on and off some of the, the pad parts. All right, let's try a different orchestra preset here. We're just starting from the top here. And let's turn off the orchestra and just go to the pads and try a different pad to start with different textures and we may just go with some percussion in the pad maybe see if we can get Sounds interesting. better chord changes here is something more interesting but you can definitely get some ideas going here it's uh Let's try something here. Let's go with just some ostinato strings, so some orchestral strings, eighth. So you can see how the pads here in this, the Jade Ethnic pads really give a beautiful under, uh, kind of a foundation for the ostinatos and the um, musical ideas you can get in the orchestra. It, it's, it gives you a continuous beautiful foundation for your orchestra uh, instruments on top of that. And really, you know, some great ideas to start with. And you can just start out with something really dark and moody in the lower register. And just evolve it. All about evolving sound, textures, and ideas. And add in the effects. And now we have a totally different idea going now. Now let's just switch to a slightly different orchestra, maybe something uh, 
I'm just totally grabbing something out here. Let's see. Uh, brass mixed basic. Okay. Let's now let's see if I can coordinate something here. <laughs> Not sure how well that works together but there now we have a totally different idea and we may want to go with uh, if you're going to more up tempo you may want to go with the higher the higher registers in the Jade Ethnic and you may want to turn that down a bit so now we'll go with something more light and fun Let's see if we can coordinate something here Great. Let's uh, let's go back to something. One more big dramatic idea, maybe animated. Um, something uh, dramatic. Cycles of time. Uh, chasing snatchers. <laughs> the truth comes out. All right, let's try a different, let's go to the fantasy library here and just pick the dragon and turn on percussion. And again, we'll just see what we get with our first chord. So a really great idea engine these two together um, gives you that you always have that nice kind of foundation of musical sounds going and you just add on top of it and with a little practice and experimenting you can come up with something that works well together. Now let's try it with a different uh, VST here. Now we've been talking a lot about indie the last couple days. Uh, I've switched over from the melodic ideas and phrases to more uh, atonal type of ideas. So if we turn it on, we'll turn off the orchestra and just listen to some of the more kind of. Well, that's not really atonal. It's more like percussive and less melodic. So going a slightly different direction in indie, but we'll see. We're going to just experiment here and we'll go with a different one here in Jade Ethnic. And again, let's just see what we come up with. Let's try to coordinate something here. That seems to work a little bit better together. Kind of a mysterious kind of tribal. A little bit of brass. Let's try it with some brass, see what, how that works. Mm, it doesn't really work in that case, but. So what I'm going to do is in the higher registers, so and we're getting a little better. Now it's starting to work a little better. So I'm in the Jade Ethnic, I've gone up in register. 
to kind of match the tonality of the, the indie phrases. Really interesting textures going. Try something different. We'll change the ethnic to the Great Wall. Let's see if we can get a nice chord change in there to start over. tension strings go in there. Nope. So now we've got a little bit of textural idea from Jade with some high tension strings with the indie. I'm not sure if I like that specifically, but you can see all the ideas that really great ideas for soundscapes and sound design. Almost every time you hit the keys, you get a different idea. So I want to show that today, how interesting this Jade Ethnic and just, just the pad section of that library alone gives you so many textural ideas and sounds to work with and then add ideas on top of that. So that was the focus of today's little look into the world of pads. So my hat is tipped. I tip my hat to the Jade Ethnic by Strazov, or Strezov. Uh, I think they did a great job. And now this is just their pad section. Hopefully I'll do some videos on their instruments, which are just, you know, top notch, beautiful ethnic instruments. Hope you have a great day or evening wherever you're at. And we'll see you on the next video.